All right, welcome back. So you want to be able to make your uh, tile set have an offset subtile size, a unique subtile size, so that you can place a tile here and have it show both the bottom and the top of a wall or a cliff or something. Um, Let's see, I made a little uh, test scene so that we can work on it together. Let's go. Here's the base test, base set. Um, and it has the normal, typical collision shapes. Uh, bit mask, right? Not collision shape, the bit mask. And um, the biggest key when making a bit mask is to remember that the center is where you want to check to make sure that uh, the tile will be placed in a auto tile or is placeable and choosable when you disable the auto tile. Otherwise, it's not going to be able to be used. So. In this top corner, we know that the outside of these, there's not going to be a tile in any of these areas. So uh, I'm not going to place a bit mask on the outside part of those. But the inner corner is going to have a tile every time. So we'll fill in those all the way. That's the basis of how it works. Let's go to uh, one that's a little bit easier to see. Um, let's make this 64. The only reason I, the step has nothing to do with placing the tiles or the bit mask. Uh, the subtile size is what your size is going to be for um, fitting your tiles into an irregular shape to make the height. Basically, 64 is the boundaries from the top of the subtile to the bottom of the subtile. Um, and the step, that's just for like when you want to make collision shapes. If you make a collision shape here and you set the step to 32 by 32, you'll be able to move these and it'll step to the, um, the boundaries here if you have snap to grid on. Um, so let's get rid of that really quick go back to the bit mask. All right, so we want to know how do we set up the bit mask? Remember the key. The key is to find the center. <laughs> it's like a Tai Chi, right? You got to find your center. Okay, so uh, let's start with this easy one. I found the center. Now I think, are there going to be tiles around it? No, so I don't have to put any around it. Let's do this one. Are there going to be any tiles around the bottom or left or right edges? No. Are there going to be any tiles on the top right or or left corners no but there is going to be one abo directly above it okay so that one's done what about this one well if i find the center i know there's going to be one above it and below it that one's done now this one you might be tempted to put it up at the top because that's where you're walking again we want to find the center and then there's only we're only going to be going down from that there's only many tiles below it so we know okay great that one's done all right, center, center, center. Oh, connect, great. Center, whoops, center, center. This one's, here we get confused again because the top part is where you want to walk. You might be like, oh, perfect, it's done. But that's wrong because these tiles won't be rendered. They won't be used by the auto tile. Godot's saying, I don't see those as tiles because we haven't checked the center. We got to find the center. Then we can connect here, connect here connect here and we know all well, the rest of this is going to be filled in. Cool. Then we can get to these irregular shaped ones. And personally, I like to set it up this way so that I can just do an outside bounding box, but I'm not going to do that for this one. Um, actually, I'll do that really quick. I, I do it this way and then I know the left side of the inner ones is just going to be 
two filled in two and then the right side is going to be filled in two and then the top of the top is filled in two and the bottom of the bottom is filled in two and that one's done but I don't want to do it that way because your your um, assets your art might not be set up in the same way and the key is to find the center so I found the center and then I'm going to look at the top of the texture where the walkable part is and if you're looking down here you might yours might have something filled in here um, but I made my transparent so that when there is overlap if there was something transparent in the tiles in front of it, it there wouldn't be weird shapes um, so let's zoom in a little bit in fact I'll make this bigger zoom in one more time <coughs> Um, there. Whoops. There we go. All right. So find the center. It's not going to have anything on the outer edges, and it's not going to have anything in the corner, the tile uh, directly diagonal from it on the bottom but it is going to have one on the top and the bottom and to the left so that one's done let's look at the top here it's going to go straight across and down and to the left so find the center and then I can go straight across and down and to the left find the center straight across down and to the right uh, down and to the left okay that row is done let's look at Let's look at this one. Okay, I'm tempted to do this because that's where it's going to start, and then I think, oh, that one's done. But that's going to create some really weird stuff, and it's not going to connect to anything. <clears throat> um, so we have to find the center first. Remember, center, then I can draw the T. All right, great. There we go. Center. Um, Oh, this one's going to have tiles on top of it, too, and down. Cool, that one's done. Okay. Um, center. It's strange because it's on top of the wall part, but it's the center of the tile, so it's going to connect. There we go. That one's done. Um, let's do these ones down here. Where do we start? In the center. Then we can find, oh, that one's super easy. Center. Oh, look, that one's done. That one's done. That one's done. Cool. Now I can just connect them all. And if you run into issues, um, you just have to, the, the best thing to do is have another one set up the exact same way. And then, this is the biggest tip, copy it, make sure that they're, all of the um, things are set up the same way, and then all you have to do is paste it in. Um, but I, I'm not going to do that because I want to show you the rest of this. So these are the zigzag ones, and if you look at the top, this is the part where the character is going to be walking. This is the wall, but it's going to be behind another um, tile that has a wall. So just find the center. The corner here is going to be open. And this corner up here is going to be open. So open, open, perfect. Just project the top here to the whole thing. There we go. Open, open. That one's done. These ones are the, whoops. See, I, I, I thought that was the center, but it wasn't. Um, the cross ones, just like this cross one here, start in the center, and it goes up and sideways. And that one's done. This one's across, it goes up and sideways, and then the center is also open. Up and sideways, center. Up and sideways, center. Up and sideways, center. Cool. So that one's done. Just double check. Oh, I forgot. Let's do these. And I 
hesitated on this because uh, it, this one shows that there's a thing there, but this subtile here needs to have both of them connected, right? If it was just this, we wouldn't there wouldn't connect to anything. There we go. There we go. And that is done. I want to do it for this one because it's a taller one and it's a lot more confusing because it stretches a lot more. And so I know the step for this one is 107. I think. Yes, 107. And the texture height is 64. So that when you place when you place this tile down, it will uh, be 64. It it will make this part the bottom instead of drawing it from the top. Okay. Here we go. Let's zoom in just a tad. All right. Remember the key. Find the center. I know that this one it's going to have tiles all the way around it, so I'll just fill that one in. Find the center. This one is going to have tiles to the top, bottom, diagonals, top and bottom, and directly to the right. So all of those are filled in. Um, and if we find the center for all of those, for all of these, oh, right, they're only going to be walking on the, the edges here. So I can connect all of these, and I know that's solid. This one's confusing, right? Because you think, I want to walk all the way here. Again, find the center. That's all I can say. Then you know, it's super easy. Um, what I did over here is I made these, just one, um, and they are mirrors they're the same tile as this except it's filled in here so that when this tile is on top of another one it's there's going to be a space here an empty space here but this one just fills that in and you'll see when i uh, draw them in um okay so let's do let's do the t's because those ones are confusing so this one it's going to be open on all the whole bottom all the tiles below it and to the sides are open. So let's draw the center and then only one on the top. So the sides are open and all the bottoms are open. This one, the, there's not going to have any tiles below it, but it's going to have tiles to the neck, to the sides of it and above it. Uh, okay, so above and to the sides. That's the T. Oh, let me finish those two. And looks like this is done. Where's that cross one? Okay, let's look at the cross one. Okay, so we're going to be walking side to side and up and down, but not diagonals. So we got the cross. Cool. Let's go um, use them a little bit. All right, so we have the, the base one. That's 32 by 32. This is 32 by 64. And then here is the, the taller one. And here you can see how the texture um, fades in there. And it, so that's why I disable it and I have those uh, set up the way that I did. So I can just do this, fill them in really quickly. And yeah, notice how, see how the orange square at the base of the uh, texture is at the base of the texture. If I didn't have that um, inspector, if I didn't have it set up so that the, oh, it's here. Uh, texture was negative 64 uh, for texture offset. It would be zero. Let's say it's zero, right? Then when I go to draw them, 
See how now the orange square is at the top of it? And that's not what we want. Makes it confusing. So that's why if you know how high your uh, cliff is like this, um, mine is 75, but because uh, there is a little bit, because it's 75 and the, well, if we go to it, you can see in the, let me zoom in. You can see from from the edge of the cliff to the cell, there's extra 12 pixels or whatever here. Well, that creates an issue with the height set that I have set up. So uh, I'm not doing it that way. Uh, so I made it 64 instead. And um, that places them directly at the, the base of this. Let me go inspector tile set, change it back to negative 64. Oh, it is. Okay, cool. Now, now they're back at the bottom. Now it's at the top. See if I undo and redo it, it just shows you that the texture gets offset that way. Um, but because I want to draw the, the platform um, things, so the areas where the platform will be, so it tells the player, hey, you're at this height at the base of the, the shapes. I make the texture offset also be whatever the height is. So that's how you, uh, that's how you get to draw your own textures like this and have them have different heights. Let me know if you have any questions, if that makes sense. Um,